So you guys know that I have been using the Rococo suit here in the channel for quite a while and I've made a couple of videos, go and check them out if you haven't, about the unboxing but also about an in-depth experience from somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience with motion capture or suiting up, uh, which was my wife and she loved it and she found it incredibly easy and, and very uh, approachable for everybody looking for it. Now in this video I want to cover something completely different that is the actor filters because Rococo just unveiled a few weeks ago a new filter that makes foot slippage much better because when you capture motion capture at home with solutions like the Rococo suit you get always a little bit of foot slippage which then you have to clean up in animation in Maya which can be a massive time sink and I think this new tech that is absolutely amazing from Rococo is gonna solve that in a massive way because based on the results that I've seen just today I feel like it's going to be great. So I cannot wait to show you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Hello and welcome to another video and I hope you're doing well. Now, this video is sponsored by Rococo. However, I wanna make sure that this is as impartial as possible because Rococo will see this video when you see it. Plus, this is a big purchase, right? I mean, it's not as expensive as the big motion capture studios that you find out there, but it's still quite a bit of money for a suit. But for this video, I want to talk about the actor filters that Rococo just uh, actually gave us to everybody that actually is using Rococo. And I think this is massive game changers for anybody that is trying to capture this stuff at home because what happens in games a lot of the times when you go and capture motion capture it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not you have this thing called foot slippage well, at least it's not a technical term but this is at least what I call it most of the years and what happens is no matter how accurate the cameras are and like the system is you get some type of like slipping on the feet either this way or this way. And this kind of causes any motion to be spongy and weird and horrible. Plus what happens as well is that the body, the body, the hips are actually connected to your feet, obviously, and your legs. But because the center of mass of your body, right, is regulated by where your foot contacts are, if your foot contacts are off, it means that everything on your animation, in your locomotion, in your action is off balance. And you can correct that and fix that in animation, in post. But just know that if you tweak the feet ever so slightly, one way or another, you're gonna most likely have to, uh, to tweak as well the hips, depending on the accuracy of your data. And I've seen some really ugly data out there that either twitches or moves or is not accurate whatsoever. And it ends up being more like the animator has to fix things to a point that it would be easier to just animate it by, by hand instead, instead of actually using the motion capture data because I'm just basically fixing things that I rather not fix and I would spend less time animating it from zero than to have really dirty data. So anything that any studio does to kind of like take forward or move forward the needle and when it comes to accuracy, especially when you do it at home, is a massive win and I think Rococo has done it. So I'll stop talking and I'll show you the feature because it's really cool. So you can see that I've actually recorded some data and you'll see here as I'm going through this my raw data and I basically suit up and I actually went in and I started doing some kung fu movies because I watch a lot of kung fu movies over the years and I love them and to me in my head I feel like I'm Bruce Lee whenever I'm on the screen so I did some moves and kind of cheesy but I think he illustrates a point here when it comes to the foot contacts because I'm tr I was trying to move my feet quite a lot all right, so this is a motion that I recorded just earlier and you'll see some clips of me um, kind of like doing these motions side by side so you understand exactly what I was doing. But what you'll have that is new now is very much this thing here called legacy locomotion and locomotion. And locomotion is going to be the new filter. That's what they're calling it, actor, uh, actor filters that you can use for your feet, for your motion. And then this is legacy locomotion, which basically was the filter that we used before. Now you can basically um, toggle it in and out as you wish, because obviously not every project is going to be different. But based on my trying and my test, and stuff I think that 90% of the time this was off and then I just left this the new locomotion on because it works so well 
Now, what you see after you record the, your clip, after it gets processed by Rococo, you actually see that those contacts on your feet all of a sudden are not jittery and they start working really, really well. And from the very beginning, even just me kind of like clicking on the record button and then walking back, those feet are looking so good, right? That data is so planted. Look at this stuff. And there's less of that crossover thing that I mentioned on the last review that I did. There's a lot of feet crossover. And here, I haven't adjusted anything. This is raw. You can go in and adjust further. But you can start to see the benefits of this new locomotion system because those contacts are really good. I was trying to jump off the ground. I was trying to readjust my feet. I was trying to slide my feet on the floor on purpose. So we could actually get those contacts to kind of like, you know, work hard for this con for this animation. And yet you can see by just leaving it raw that this is pretty awesome. Now you still get the small glitches like here. See that? There was a little bit of something going on right there. Right, so you get you still get some small glitches right here that you can go ahead and adjust here or clean up after. But those contacts are super clean, and I can see that he's tracking that foot that is in the air, especially on this one that is in the air right here. It's kind of tracking it beautifully. Now I didn't record any fingers on this one uh, on purpose because I didn't want to. That was not the point of this video. But you know the hands are still flawless, are still really awesome. But the one problem that I had, definitely number one problem that I had with Rococo was definitely those foot contacts because there was a lot of work to be done for those foot contacts. Now, from time to time, you still get like a little bit of like crossover right here, like you can see it right here, and then it resets. He goes back, and he kind of feels good again. But I was moving around, as you can see in the video, quite like, you know, a lot, like quite fast as well, which is another thing that sometimes with these systems, you have difficulty following the data because it's an in inertia based system. It's not a camera based system. So sometimes it loses a little bit of that ability to capture that movement super quickly. So I was trying to move quickly, moving off the spot, jumping off the spot, uh, and then actually sliding and contacting the floor so we can have a, f a different feel for what feels when you actually land and slide and what feels when you land and stay. Those two things are very important because a lot of systems struggle with it. But I have to say, I think Rococo has nailed it and he's a massive upgrade. It's almost like they actually re rewritten all that locomotion engine that they had to a much better state. And I feel like this is like if you're in the fence to get a Rococo suit because of these things, I think that it's in really good state at this point. And the fact that he has foot locks and he works so well is great. Um, when you don't have foot locks on, then obviously you get more slippage. But even then, I think like see that that actually goes through it a bit more. But as soon as you activate those foot locks, like there's very little. To me as an animator, what I see, just to wrap things up, is that it basically saves me time to not go back and forth between having to go from Rococo to Maya, heavy time spent in Maya, cleaning up things before I put it in engine. To me, this is much more of a simpler job. If I had my gloves here, um, I think I'll probably be like maybe looking at the small imperfections that I just showed you. Sometimes there's a little tweak uh, here and there, the little few frames, just a few frames, but I would probably spend a good maybe 30 minutes to an hour just cleaning this motion before I put it in game. Um, and then maybe adding details on top such as toe taps and things like that. But I think this is really polished for what it is and the fact that you're doing it at home. And this took me like what? five, 10 minutes to actually capture. And now I'm here seeing the motion ready to be exported to Maya or Unreal. That is incredible. So kudos to Rococo, check out the link down below because it will give you a little bit of a discount for your suit. Plus I get a bit of kickback, but most importantly, I would love for you to tell me if you have tried this feature down in the comments, what do you think? Is it much better? Are you finding it easier? Because every setup is different. And I know that some people out there are struggling with either their connection or how close they are from their internet. And this is important for you to have the best capture but for me I'm loving this system it working is working very flawlessly and I'm looking forward to seeing what else Rococo has in store next so until the next video I hope you enjoyed it and until then stay well stay safe peace if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful go ahead and hit the like button if you super enjoyed it leave a super thanks it's like leaving a little tip and it directly supports the channel if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can continue to see my videos and get your weekly dose of betterness.